a loud chorus of boos rang out as another controversial Las Vegas decision was rendered in Tuesday night's Legend Barthelemy v. Eduardo Ramirez featherweight battle at the Cannery Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. Ramirez, of Los Machos, Sinaloa, Mexico, seemed to have done more than enough to deserve the nod over a listless Barthelemy in the 10-round featherweight main event of a premier boxing champions Cuba v. Mexico Toto to Tuesday event, televised nationally on FS1 Boxeo de Campeones on Fox Deports. After 10 rounds of pounding and chasing the exhausted Cuban around the ring, often landing multi-punch combinations to the head and body, Ramirez and Corner rightfully celebrated their well-deserved upset victory, but in Las Vegas boxing, nothing is certain, especially scoring. While Judge Glenn Trowbridge was able to pick the right winner at least, but by too tight a margin at 96-94, the other two inexplicably scored the lopsided beating Tim Cheatham 95-95 and an unbelievable 97-93 Barthelemy from Patricia Morris Jarman. This controversial scoring is the second time Las Vegas judges have made major blunders on national television in a short time, as it comes less than two weeks after the Canelo vs. GGG scoring debacle. It is also not the first time Morris Jarman has been involved in controversial and highly questionable scoring. Her decades of head-scratching scores include having Fernando Vargas ahead of Oscar De La Hoya at the time of De La Hoya's 11th round stopped page victory, as well as having Bibit Shumanov winning 117,111 in a fight against Gabriel Campillo, that Campillo clearly dominated and was robbed. Also among her long list of missteps, Morris Jarman had Marco Antonio Barrera beating Nassim Hamed by a mere three points in a fight regarded by all except Morris Jarman as a one-sided beating. With a draw Bartholomew escapes to 13.01, 7 KOs. Ramirez undeservedly sinks to 2003, 7 KOs.